the National Institute of Standards and Technology released a major update to the previous version of its digital identity guidelines in 2020. Some of the key changes and additions in this update include Remote Identity Proofing This update introduces new guidelines for verifying identities remotely, such as through online or video-based methods. This is important in light of the increased use of remote work and online services. Device-based authentication. The update also includes new guidelines for device-based authentication methods, such as using a device's biometric data or other unique characteristics to authenticate a user. Identity assurance level and authentication assurance level. In previous versions of the guidelines, NIST recommended different levels of authentication based on the sensitivity of the information being accessed. In this update, NIST introduced these concepts to provide a more comprehensive framework for assessing the level of assurance required for different types of transactions. Biometric authentication. This update also provides specific guidelines for biometric authentication, which is becoming more widely adopted as a means of verifying identity. Risk-based authentication. The guidelines also introduce the concept of risk-based authentication, which allows organizations to assess the level of risk associated with a given transaction and adjust their authentication methods accordingly. Out-of-band authentication, the guidelines also provide recommendations for out-of-band authentication, which is a method of authentication that uses a separate communication channel such as SMS and phone call to verify a user's identity. Overall, the update to digital identity guidelines provides a more comprehensive and flexible framework for creating and maintaining secure digital identities, with a focus on providing more robust remote identity proofing and device-based authentication options. Thank you for watching our video.